Man cannot trade God's glory. Acts chapter 12 and verse 22. The people gave him a great ovation shouting, It's the voice of a God, not of a man. This text talks about King Herod. He was angry with the people of Tyre and Sidon since these places were dependent on his country for food. When people knew that Herod was angry, they sent delegates to please him. Fortunately, the delegates won the favor of Blastus, the personal assistant of King Herod. They were to be met on an appointed day and King clad in his royal robes went on to the throne and gave his speech. The people in one accord shouted that it was the voice of God. Herod was impressed, but God was sent. The angel of the Lord stuck him and he was dead in a moment. People were scared and they began to believe in the word of God. Glory belongs to God and man does not deserve it since he is a creation. Creation too has glory that is limited, but the glory of the Lord is limitless. St. Francis D. Sales describes glory in the following words. Some men become proud and insolent because they ride a fine horse, wear a feather in their hat, or are dressed in fine suit of clothes. Who does not see the folly of this? If there be any glory in such things, the glory belongs to the horse, the bird, and the tailor. In a similar manner, when someone praises for our intelligence or the beauty, we need to be careful since nothing is ours. It was given to us by the Creator God and rightfully He deserves the praise and honor. This cautions us not to take God or godly things for granted. It is always better that we are conscious of the glory of God. This God consciousness can help us know our limitations and our desperation to be dependent on the divine. Man cannot trade God's glory. God bless you.